my god. I'm going live. I'm going live, guys. All right, it is late as hell where I am. I think the sun's about to come out. That's how late it is here. I'm watching the Young Turks. You got to get on YouTube, watch the Young Turks. Chank is melting down right now. <laughs> he is melting down. I just started a hashtag celebrity salt. And if you see celebrities crying their eyes out, please tag it so I can find it and retweet that celebrity salt hashtag. I don't know. I mean, hey, if Trump hasn't been declared the victory, the winner yet, but the liberals I'm watching right now are flipping the hell out. They are. I mean, the problem with what the media, they're not going to call it for Trump until like basically 100 percent of the votes are are in. So we're going to be sure of his victory before it's officially called. So it's going to take it's going to take time. I don't know if I have enough energy to go all night. Yes, I do. I probably do. I am even if Trump is called the winner right now, I have so much adrenaline going through me that I have I don't think I can sleep for uh, a, a couple hours. So where's all the CTR trolls? Where's all the Hillary trolls? I don't see them today. Did they did they go to sleep? Are they are they crying their eyes out? I don't see them cuz I did a periscope the other day. They were like you're a conspiracy theorist. Hillary's going to win. Where are they right now? I don't see them. Do you see them, guys? Do you see them in chat? I don't see them. So, okay, let's just go state by state. Um, I had a map at uh, 270 to win.com, but it was down. You know, they had one job. Their only job was to freaking give me an electoral map and 270 to win.com, they failed. They, their, their website is, is down. But basically, okay, let's go to Pennsylvania. Um, now, if Trump loses Pennsylvania and Virginia, he still has a lot of ways to win uh, through Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona. So it's not, it doesn't look like he's going to need Pennsylvania after all. And I'm going to check uh, the Pennsylvania. I get my sources directly from the state sites because this, this is where the news gets it from. I don't want to use a middleman. All right, 87% is reporting in Pennsylvania, and Trump is up by 5,000 votes. Okay, so it's switching back and forth, guys. So in Pennsylvania, I can't get too, too excited, but the good news is right now, the current results right now is Trump is up in Pennsylvania. Okay, let's go to Michigan. I'm at MLive.com. I'm looking at the Michigan results 52 percent is reporting in trump is up by forty thousand votes so it's really tight there but it's looking good i'm um, going to wisconsin next and let's see what wisconsin the cheese state i think it is right where the green bay packers play and they wear those cheese thingies i've never been there before but i'm 60 percent is reporting in wisconsin trump has a sizable lead uh, 49% to 46%. He is up by about 50,000 votes. So he's doing well there. What other state do is in play? Let's go to New, New Hampshire. It's only four electoral votes, but hey, we'll take anything that we can get. I'm going to load up the New Hampshire results right now. With 59% of the precincts reporting in New Hampshire, Trump is up 48% to 46%. He is winning by 9,000 votes there. Uh, it's looking good, guys. And I, you probably know that Florida finally got, got called. So Florida, I mean, it was staring them in the, in the face. Florida was up. So they called Trump uh, for Florida. He already won Ohio. He won North Carolina. Uh, now we're waiting for, I think, uh, it does not look like Trump is going to win Virginia. Let me check Virginia right now. <clears throat> and how is everyone doing tonight? I'm sure you're getting a little excited, right? But you can't get too excited. We haven't won yet. But uh, so if you see celebrities melting down, we're doing the hashtag celebrity salt. Celebrity salt. Tag it with with celebrity salt. I want to see all these Hollywood stars crying and music stars crying. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to bathe in, in, in their tears. OK, let's look into Virginia. It's not looking that great. We got ninety six point five percent reporting and Clinton is up by one point 
six percent. I think Virginia is is done. I think Trump has lost Virginia. Uh, so. Okay, so what is so what other states are in, in play? Really, it's just a matter of who is going to call it. You know, so we have to wait for Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, even if Trump doesn't win Pennsylvania, it is uh, not. I mean, I mean, he he still has a lot of ways because any all the all the rest of the states that he has to win if he loses Pennsylvania and he's going to lose Vir Virginia the way it looks, he has a lot of paths now. So. Uh, and let's go look at the New York Times, what their prediction is. They are predicting Trump 95% forecast. Let me reload it to make sure. Greater than 95% chance that the New York Times, Carlos Slim's blog, is calling. I mean, in my heart, the election is done. In my heart, Trump won. But of course, it hasn't been, been called. Um, so we just have to wait. Now, you know, we've been waiting for months. So, but how is Hillary going, going to win? She does, I don't think she has a path now, but get ready, man. This, I think it's, I think what's going to happen is multiple states are going to be called all at once. So you're going to be using the bathroom, take, taking a leak and you come back and then the game is over. And I think it's probably going to be over within an hour. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys want me to stay on, but uh, there's not much to say. It's just a matter of w of waiting. Um, so, how has your night been going? I'm going to scream. Yeah, but it's lo it's looking good. It's looking real good. Um, the people have spoken. The people. I mean, to me now, I'm really tired right now. But I'll just t tell you what I'm thinking right now. And what I'm thinking is, in spite of them controlling everything, in spite of them controlling the universities and the media, all the institutions within the United States, and controlling even the election apparatus, uh, the voting machines and things like that, they're still going to lose. This is an amazing thing. I mean, you can hold the people down up to a certain point, but then it's, I mean, to me, I just am shocked. I'm, I'm still in shock. I mean, I'm still waiting for the official deck declaration that Trump is going to win but I believed in him I knew he had the votes but I thought he was going to be robbed and it doesn't look like it's going to be a robbery guys get ready you're going to enjoy the salt that's going to be coming the next day and all those people who say they were going to move to Canada if Trump wins we have to make sure they stand by their word <laughs> get the hell out <laughs> you know get out of of the u.s but uh i'm right now in a really i feel like i've entered an altered state of consciousness because i'm so tired but at the same time i'm so excited so i got adrenaline coursing through me i'm still don't want to believe it i don't want to believe it uh you know if if trump wins man i can uh, so i just want to tell you that my mom i got my mom voted for trump my sister voted for Trump, my father and my brother who can vote. They all voted for for him. Um, I really I worked on them, you know, I, I mean, by giving them facts for months. You know, it wasn't just to send an article and say, hey, guys, you have to vote for Trump, even as their son and brother. I really gave the gave the arguments and hope that they would understand. And they all voted for uh, Trump. And if, if it feels good, you know, I, I can say, I can be proud to say I have a Trump family and the Trump family, you know, are, are from the Middle East, <laughs> the Middle Eastern immigrants in the United States. We all voted for uh, Trump and it's look like, it looks like he's going to win. And unfortunately we live in a blue state, but that's okay. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, it's kind of, it's a bit surreal. And I'm with a friend right now. I'm with a friend from the, U from the UK who was really happy when the Brexit vote came. But they're getting robbed. And I told him, once we get Trump in, don't worry. We will make sure the Brexit vote gets carried through. So I, I'm f feeling some of the excitement that he felt just a few months ago. And uh, I feel kind of sad that the Brexit vote is not going the way it should. It looks like it got some backdoor dealings. It's not going well. But Trump, we got to get Trump in, you know, and it uh, looks like he's going to win. Uh, we still have to wait. 
But once he wins, now the next step is to get him into office in January 20. There's still a lot of tricks that the establishment can pull in two months, uh, two and a half months. But, you know, we can worry about that. If Trump wins just for one week, I, I think we're all going to be on cloud nine, right? So, so now we just have to wait. I, I recommend you go watch the Young Turks. I mean, this is giving me so much satisfaction <laughs> just seeing Cenk. Let me see if I can give like a little screen of what I'm, I can see. Uh, hold on. So you can, so you have them and I'm watching them and they are flipping out. I mean, look at the black guy on, on the left, how sad he is. And they're saying how, look at the, Cenk was like, we're going to war. War with what? You're the establishment. What is the establishment going go to the, go to war against the uh, people or something? Give me a break, man. So anyway, is, this is, that is fun to watch. And all the degenerate celebrities going nuts. You know, they're over here crying their eyes out. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> I think I've waited. Because these clowns came after me. And if you know my story, if you're new to me, you have no idea who this bearded man with the beautiful pug is. But if you know me and you know how they came after me, you know, you know, starting in 2011 when the Southern Poverty Law Center put me on their list in Canada, ADL. In February, they got a mob after my family through all these hundreds of media articles. I survive thanks to your help and now they're getting their comeuppance and it feels really good <laughs> it feels it feels so good i may i mean it, but still it, he hasn't won yet okay do you think trump will follow through with pursuing hillary's jail time you know right now i don't really care i i, I think uh i'm more concerned about the benefit we get from trump than the punishments we can put onto them i'm right now just happy with them crying their eyes out to know, and they have to look at me. And the media came after me because of my form of locker room talk. And now the president of the United States has been attacked for locker room talk too. You know, so I mean, I'm not Trump, but man, it's great to a guy is going to be the president of the of the United States who has been attacked by the media in the same way as as, as me. I mean, that is vin vindication. You attack me. And then another man comes he, stronger than me, and he becomes the president of the United States. I mean, that is, ooh, that's going to be, uh, that's, that is going to be good. So, so what are you guys doing right now? Are you, are you at home? Are you out? Or you're just kind of hanging out and just w waiting for this to end? Because I'm guessing most of you are in the U.S. now, so it's not that late. It is, the sun is going to start to come up here, so... It is late. Arnold is tired. We have a we have a bottle of champagne, and I told myself I'm not going to open that bottle of champagne unless Trump wins. It may be the breakfast that I eat, but it's gonna it's gonna take a while. I mean, I may not go to bed. I don't know. Should I go to bed? Should I stay up? I am tired as hell, but at the same time, I am excited. So, oh, okay. So what are we at? Let me just check uh, while you guys are here what the uh, what the map looks like. So it looks like, um, yeah, not much has changed while I was talking to you. Let me reload the Pennsylvania. So last time was 87% reporting, 87.82 reporting. Trump is up. Trump extended his lead in Pennsylvania by 8,000. Let's go to Michigan. Uh, last update, 52% was reporting. Now 60% is reporting in Michigan. Trump is up by 25,000 votes. It's narrow, but that is a clear lead. Uh, let's go to Wisconsin. Uh, nothing has changed there, but Trump is still in the lead there by a good margin. I think this is it, guys. I really do. So when do we call it? I mean, do we have to wait for CNN to call it? I mean, knowing CNN is going to wait till one, like Thursday or something. So who's saying that? I want to touch your, your beard. Thank you. All right. So let me sign off. And uh, if some more news comes, I mean, I would love to be live when it's announced. But who is going to announce it? I don't think there's going to be that one moment when we know. I think various media outlets are going to reluctantly accept the fact 
that Donald Trump is going to be the 45th president of the United States. And just saying that out of my mouth, it feels great. So uh, let's, um, I'm going to try to do at least one more Periscope in about an hour or so. But i um, glad that you guys are still here with me. And uh, yeah, this is turning out to be a really historic time. And man, what a, what a great night it is. So we will uh, check back again soon, okay?